Hello friends and welcome in our today's session and as you can see I have um, a number of stamps. This is because um, uh, a lot of friends have been asking me to show you them how they can create a simple stamp uh, because most of them they are working from home and uh, you'll find that maybe you left the stamp in the office and uh, you can't get there uh, because of things like lockdown and so forth especially this uh, time we have COVID-19 and uh, I, I decided to do it uh, something that I've, I've promised even in previous video and in our today's session I want us to cover it just uh, briefly because just to make the sh video short, as short as, for, as possible so um, you can just use uh, the, just simple MS Office tools uh, like MS Word Publisher you can also use uh, Paint and so forth it's very very simple so like MS Word you just need to make use of uh, shapes this is just an image so insert shapes you can pick if it's a rectangle circle uh, you can also have a donut here which you can make use of it to create that and as you can see this one I've created this one this one has got uh, is made up of um, let me ungroup uh, we have got um, this is a text box this is a word art and this is just a, a circle so just the same color the color that i normally use for maybe for a stamp and um, once you do that uh, you put them together let me undo and the next thing is is to group them to group them you just select one by one uh, i know you know how to group so it makes very you make it you make it very very easy so now you know if it is text carved is the text you can make it use word for that uh, this one you just use text box and um, this is around just rounded shapes which you can pick any shape and the shape you can you make use of any type of borders that you feel like you just uh, you can you can go to format I uh, yeah the uh, we have got feel uh, apart from fill you can go to outline outline you can you can pick uh, what type of lining we, we you're using maybe if it's dotted so it depends on which one you, you, you and i think now you you have understood how you can make a simple stamp and just solve a problem you don't need to waste time going to office and so forth so it's just a simple way of solving simple problems that you face and uh, it makes your office to be portable like you can get to a cyber make an invoice send to the client you're good to go letters receipts and so forth yeah just in, in a simple manner without wasting time so as you know that in most cases when you go to uh, to 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 to, to to most business you'll find that they use templates like can see you, i have a template here of a living certificate and just a matter of editing it and putting the content put the stamp print sign scan send to the client i don't uh, maybe have to waste time doing a bcd but now one thing you need to know is that uh, <laughs> this information maybe you can you might be misusing it it's something that you need to be cautious about it can land you in a hot soup if you misuse it don't uh, forge other companies information and so forth so i'm just sharing it for the sake of uh, just helping guys uh, maybe learn uh, simple things that they can help sometimes when you are in a tricky situation here i have a um, just a list of images this kind of some images that i normally use to especially when i'm training student um, yeah, the graphic student like when we are using Corel draw and so forth so i'll find time do one by one uh, so that you can get to understand how you can use Corel draw remember when you do these things with Corel draw especially if you're creating a stamp or something like that to be it's it's it makes one of the perfect one uh, the, the, it brings it perfect because this is a software that is designed to do that so i'll try to do such kind of uh, stuff now um uh, lastly i have a booklet here which i was uh, going through and i wanted to share with you it's uh, about bioinformatics and as you know um python is one of the leading languages especially in the field of data science and bioinformatics is uh is just a module with, that you find in um, uh, data science that deals with manipulation of biodata you can interact with the uh, 
uh, things like DNA data, like diseases data, like for example, if it's COVID-19 or Ebola and so forth. So this will help a lot. And it's something which is good, especially if the guys who are in the medicine sector. And sometimes you'll be required to start learning how to code and how to use Python programming. So thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video like this one. And I appreciate a lot for the, your support. Thank you and keep sharing the link. Uh, goodbye and see you in the next video.